The Life of a Bivalve Cow On May 10th, we went to the bivalve dairy. There we learned some important facts about a bivalve cow. At 2.45, the farmers bring the cows to the milking room. Up to 16 cows can be milked at a time. Then at 2 p.m., they get milked for the second time. Of the 500 cows, only 130 are milked. One cow produces about 7 to 10 gallons of milk a day. That's around 1,105 gallons of milk from all cows every day. After the milk comes out of the cow, it goes through pipes to two big refrigerated milk tanks that can hold up to 4,600 gallons of milk. If there is a big storm and the milk trucks can't come up that day, they have enough room for four days of storage of the milk. From there it goes through panels with cold water running one way and the warm milk going the other. The milk starts cooling instantly. The heat from the milk is used to heat the water to wash the cows. Using the panels makes them only have to use one other refrigerator instead of three, saving money and electricity. Another way they are trying to save electricity is they are going to start using the methane gas from the poo to run tractors and other things. The cows at the farm have a great life. They spend 300 days on the pasture even though the law for organic cows says they only have to spend 120 days on the pasture. Also, the baby calf get to stay with their moms for two days. Then they spend time in small pens where they feed to become strong. One of the most important things in the daily life of a bivalve cow is their complex feed. Their diets are about 10 times bigger than ours. These organic cows eat 130 pounds of pasture feed each day. What makes these cows so different is their diet. Their daily ration consists of this. They eat 15 pounds of grass silage, 7 pounds of rolled corn, 7 pounds of ground wheat, 19 hundredths of a pound of vitamins and minerals, and then it's finished off with 3 pounds of barley. Here's a factory cow's diet. 50 pounds of soy, which isn't even good for their immune system, and, five, and 50 pounds of corn. Factory farms pinch their pennies, but it's not good for the cows in the long run. The cows at Bivalve are treated very well compared to factory cows. All the factory cows are never treated when they get sick. When they get eye cancer, they are left untreated and they get a crater-like hole in the side of their head. At the Bivalve Dairy, the cows get constant veterinary treatment, but then are shipped off to bee farms where they are kindly slaughtered. Also, the bivalve cows are bandaged up when they get hurt, but some factory cows get beat and dragged away and sold to slaughterhouses. Why would you want to buy milk from a cow treated like that? If you buy milk like that, it only encourages these factory farms to treat their animals cruelly because they are making a profit and it is selling well. If you buy clover or bivalve milk, you are helping out farmers who don't make as much money but treat their animals kindly. It tastes better too, so drink organic milk. So Matt, do you drink organic milk? Straight from the cow. Jeff, do you drink Clover Stornetta organic milk? Yes, I sure do drink organic <laughs> milk. Curtis, do you drink organic milk? I do. It's been about a year and a half since I only drink organic milk. Miss McCann, do you drink organic milk? The only kind of milk I drink is organic milk. Thank you, Miss McCann.